I bought a faulty job lot of Nintendo Switch docks off of eBay, and I have three of them. Two of which have a lovely little note on that says, No power, kiss. That one's the same. This one doesn't say anything. So I don't know exactly what's wrong with these, but let's find out. I'm going to test them with the Nintendo Switch that I fixed a few weeks ago. This is the one that had the faulty game card reader and USB port. So let's get these plugged in and let's test them out. So this is one of the no power KISS ones. So let's see if it does anything. No it does not. No green light. And still my ugly face on the screen. So that doesn't have any power. Right, let's try dock number two. This one is also no power kiss. Ah, now that one. Oh, it's green. It's green. And it, it's worked. So... Hmm. No power. Not correct. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Green light. And it's come up on the screen. Excellent. So that one works. Right, so let's try the third one that doesn't have anything written on it. None of these have got the back flap, by the way. This one looks like it's got a bit of stainage there. Possibly some liquid damage. But let's see. It's gone green. No. So there's a green light on, but nothing displaying on the screen. Alright, we'll put that to one side. I think I'll start with the no power one. Looks like we've got tri wing screws on the back. And I shall shout out my Holy Hand Grenade patrons while I'm doing this, as always. This week, that's Tidder and Jamrag Berlin. Jamrag Berlin is a band, by the way. Check them out on YouTube, they're really good. Tidder isn't a band, but he's also very good. Oh, I just realised some of those are different sizes. Probably should have paid attention there, shouldn't I? Oops. I'll work it out. Right, well, that was easy. So, signs of... Some fluxage there, I think. Unless that's from the factory. Hmm. How do I get this little board out? Right. I don't know. I don't know if that flux is from the factory or not. So this one had a green light, but it was not displaying on the TV. So you'd think it's possibly the HDMI port. So let's have a look at that under the scope. Well, that's the HDMI port, and pins look okay on that side. Turn it around. And pins look okay on that side. So I don't think it's that. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Could it be the USB-C port? Uh, I guess we've got to remove these screws here. How do you get into that bit? There's more screws down there and I can't get to them. Let's try this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, well that also looks absolutely fine, doesn't it? How odd. I wonder if it's the ribbon cable then. Or, failing that, it's got to be something on this board. Let's just try plugging it back in as it is now. Let's try it now. No. Oh, no, it's doing nothing now. Have I done something wrong here? Was it doing nothing before? No, it had a green light on it. Am I getting confused here? Is this the one that didn't do anything? Let's plug in this little USB-C breakout board. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, they're all connected. So it's not the port. Let's have a look at this board under the microscope. Right, so we've got an M92 chip there. Is that the same M92 chip that's in the switch? Or is it a different one? We've got another chip there. And then one there. I mean, I think that flux is from the factory. Yeah. That port looks okay. We've got another M92 chip. Interesting. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart the one that was working out of those three and I'm going to start swapping some bits around. So if I can eliminate the ribbon cable and the USB port as being the problem, then at least I'll know it's this board and I can fault find it a bit further. At the minute, I do think it is something on that board, but we'll find out. All right, so I'm just going to disconnect the USB-C from the good board. I'm going to call this the good board. And I'm going to connect the USB-C port from the bad board. There we go. All right, let's see if this docks now. If it does, then I know that USB port and ribbon cable are good. Yep. So the USB-C port and ribbon cable are absolutely fine. So it's got to be something on the board. Okay, so let's have a good look at these two boards and try and compare them and see if we can see anything different. Right, I've been playing around with these for a while now and I can't see any difference between these two boards. So that's the one that isn't working, that's the one that is. All the voltages are exactly the same. For example, they're coming through here, we've got 15 volts here, 15 volts here, up here, 15 volts, and it turns to 5 volts, and we've even got 5 volts at the connector here that goes down to the USB-C. So I, I, I don't know what the difference is. I don't really know where to take it from here. One thing I've not checked... Yeah, let's see if I can... I'm going to hook up my USB-C amp meter, or ammeter, or whatever it is. And I can see if it's actually trying to to charge the switch. So this is the this is the working one. So let's plug the switch in there. Yes. 0.74 amps. So that is charging. Let's try that on the non-working board. Right in there. Let's try that one. No. Zero amps. So that is not trying to charge this switch. I wonder if it's that M92. In the same way that the M92 inside the switch is responsible for the charging. It's got to be the same on this board, hasn't it? But I don't think they're going to be the same chips as the M92 inside the switch, if you know what I mean. Because the numbers are different. This one's an M92T55. This one's an M92T36, I think. Ah, let's check the third dock. Because that one wasn't displaying. Ah, I wonder if... I might be better off making two working ones. Let's try that. Right, so let's plug the switch into this one. Yeah, 0 0.81 amps, so that is charging it. So, if I take the M92 chip out of this one and put it on this one, is this one going to start working? There's only one way to find out. Change of t-shirt, just to confuse everybody. Right, so what I've decided to do, this is the original faulty board. And this is the one that has, it's got no power, it's not It's not trying to charge. This is the one that was not displaying on the screen, but it had a green light. So the charge I see is okay, I've tested it. I'm going to try swapping it from here to here and see if that brings this one to life. Now the problem with this one, with no display, I don't know. 
if I'm being perfectly honest. I've checked all around the board. There's no shorts. I've checked the filters. The filters are not shorting. There's continuity through them. The HDMI port looks fine. The other ports look fine. I've tested it with the other USB-C port here. Again, still nothing. So I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with this one. But I figure I'm going to use it as a donor. Take the chip off the faulty board first. Let's do this. Take the good one off the donor board. And let's pop it straight on the original board. Right, I think that looks okay. Let's test it. Here it goes. Okay. Is it drawing? Yes, it is. 0.57. Anything on the screen? Oh, yes! Get in. Nice. So let's put it fully back together. And let's test it properly. So there we have it. I've got two working out of three. And as Meatloaf would say, two out of three ain't bad. This one was really interesting. This is the one where I replaced the M92 T55 chip. And I'm guessing, just like the Nintendo Switch itself, using perhaps a third party charger fries those chips. Even though there was no shorts around it, swapping that chip out has made this one work. So I really enjoyed that one. But I've got me two working ones and a donor unit. And they cleaned up quite nice. I looked up the M92 T55 chip online and you can buy them, but they're about £10. And considering I only paid £9 for each of these, it makes no sense to spend £10 to try and put another chip back on there. I might as well just use that as a donor. I do just need to quickly test this one because the USB-C port that I was using was, was this one. So I just need to make sure that that is indeed working. But I'm pretty sure it will be. There it goes. And there we go, we've got the green light. Boom. Nice. I want you. I, want you. I need you. I need you. But there ain't no way. Oh
I'm ever gonna love you Now don't be sad Cause two out of three ain't bad